Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another comparison video on the brand new Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Yes, it's very different, very distinct, but we wanna find out how it compares to the AirPods 2 Pro and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. So let's go ahead and find out. The Buds 3 Pro, it's very different. Let's just call what it is, elephant in the room. It looks very similar to the AirPods 2 Pro. And it's a very big departure for what Samsung has done with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Now, if we go down memory lane with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and the previous Galaxy Buds designs, even down to the Galaxy Buds Plus, they were always buds that uh, would tuck into your ear and they didn't have a stem. Some like the Buds Plus had, you know, the wingtips that were actually holding your ear, or some like the Buds Wear, which were open back, you know, earbuds. Very different design, but still very similar into that in-ear solution without the stem. And also the cases were pebble-like, uh, which is a big departure from what we have now. Now the Buds 2 Pro still hold that pebble-like look and feel, and it's something that is quite interesting to see that departure. Now when we move over to the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, the 3 Pro has a very different look. As we're looking at the hardware for all of them, you can see here this is very similar in terms of case design, to the AirPods 2 Pro. Now, I'm not saying it's the same, but it is similar. With the AirPods 2 Pro, it's a simple white case, opens up, you can see your earbuds in there, and that's pretty much it, right? The Galaxy Buds 3 Pro case is a little bit different, comes either gray or white, uh, and it also has a see-through top canopy, which allows you to see your buds in there. Now, the buds do light up when they're in the case and they're closed up, so indicating that they're there, and also can be used with the Find By Me feature here. Now, when we take the buds out, this is where we find something quite unique and interesting. Unique in the sense that it's similar to the AirPods uh, 2 Pro in terms of they have a stem, they also have a larger base as well, and um, you know they have microphones tucked into them. But what's different here is that the stem on the Buds 3 Pro are not rounded like the AirPods Pro, but more of an angular feel, so you do have two very distinct sides. And these distinct sides are very important because they add to the control mechanism of the Buds 3 Pro. So with the Buds 3 Pro, you have the volume controls tucked in on the inner side of the stem, so either on your right or your left to control. Now for some people, it might be easy to use, for some people it might be harder for me, I find it easy. I know Hayato is like, mm, not so much. But again, it's something you just have to get learn to get used to. There's also a pinch feature to either pause and play, which is nice. And I do like just the way it feels, especially while just holding them and putting them in your ears. They work out pretty well. Similar to the AirPods Pro, those are also very comfortable. We know that, of course, throughout the years. And they fit quite comfortably. They do have that pinch feature. And they do have that pinch location as well, which is like a designated area. So that's kind of the difference there between those. Now the Buds 2 Pro, of course, you know, we've got more of that smaller pebble look and feel and design. Fits in the ear and, you know, has the large surface area for you to tap to play, pause, and all that fun stuff. So when it comes to hardware and design, I think the Buds 3 Pro look great. It might be a big departure for some people, but I do like what they've done with it to make it at least distinct and unique. I wish they had more colors like they've had in the past to differentiate it, but it's still a nice piece of hardware. Okay, so let's dive into what we all care about, ANC active noise cancellation. This is something that is very important for earbuds all over the place. Now, how do I grade them? Now, I would put at number three, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. They're not terrible, they're not bad, they're actually very good, but they're just a touch below the AirPods 2 Pro. The reason I say that is that the AirPods 2 Pro just give me a slightly better uh, reduction of course of the lower frequency sounds and some of you know and some of that high frequency sounds as well so that's something to take note now and my number two position it's the airpods 2 pro are you going wow wait the samsung totally beat it i will put the general active noise cancellation for both of them at the same level 
But what Samsung has done is Samsung has some features within their software which help amplify more lower end and also more high end. So there is a feature that can detect for sirens as well. Uh, so basically a lot of those loud blurring sounds can be also be cut off as much as possible. It's not gonna cut it off to totally all the way, but I do appreciate that aspect about it. I find it also very solid, especially using on flights and on plane. I went out to Milan, all, like I was in the old 777. That, that bad boy is loud, 777s are loud honestly and it cut out most of that like it was very very good at that aspect i also tested it out with my airpods which did a good job but i thought the galaxy buds 3 pro did better so i'm going to give the edge there plus there's also adaptive noise cancellation as well which is something the airpods do have as well but i feel like samsung does a slightly better job here in making sure i'm in the right environment and also the levels are balanced for what i'm used to so active noise cancellation the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro with. What about transparency? Ah, this is one that Apple always wins. It's absolutely fantastic. So at number three here are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I think they are really good, but there's a lot of that robotic sound. That's something that a lot of manufacturers suffer from where they get that very engineered sound to, you know, transparency. It doesn't feel like you're just listening to the world in Sound of Music, but more like you're listening to the world in Matrix. That's kind of the difference here. With my number two spot, there is none because I actually give this as a tie. I think Samsung has done a really good job to match up to Apple with this here. I think the transparency is very clear, especially when you're using um, the adaptive feature that can switch between ambient mode and active noise cancellation. It does a really good job, especially within your location. So if you're on the subway, you actually will get uh, some active noise cancellation to balance that out. Really good job there, but I think this is really a tie because what Apple does has been really solid overall and Samsung has really come up his step up to the plate to say, yes, we're here and now we can do transparency without the robotic voices and it feels like the sound of music. Speaking of sound, let's go to audio quality. This is very important and I think a lot of people should look at this quite well. Now my number three spot goes to the Apple AirPods 2 Pro. <laughs> I got you right there. You thought it was a Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, but it's actually the AirPods 2 Pro. They sound great. Don't get me wrong. They do a really good job in sound, but the adaptive EQs tend to mess up my music listening experience. Now it may be different for you. You may like that, but for me, it affects the way I listen to it. And I just wish I had an off button. That's it. That would make my day and I would be fine. And my number two spot goes to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Now, hear me out. I think they sound really great and I think the sound quality is very similar to the AirPods 2 Pro. As I mentioned, AirPods 2 Pro have adaptive EQs which really mess things up for me. So I'm giving that number two spot to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. They're nice, they're solid, they do a really good job. And my number one spot in audio goes to the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Now, it's got a ton of features built in there. First off, it's got dual amateur drivers, which help a lot, especially in the separation on low end and giving you nice lows, mids, and highs. Great separation within the drivers there, allowing for that feature quite well. Plus, within the app itself, you now have your own custom EQs you can set. No longer presets, which means you can customize the sound the way you want to, which is a huge plus and allows for great listening experience. It also has adaptive EQs as well, but you can turn it off. So I love that aspect about it and it takes my number one spot around you, but honestly guys, you have to listen to it. They do a really good job in just giving you some really good clean sound on here. And again, you can suit it to your taste. Microphones. How well are the microphones on here and how good of a job do they actually do? This is a microphone sample from the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Testing out how the microphone sounds, giving you an idea, recording directly from the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Uh, again, AC is on, a fan is turning, and uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea. This is a sample of the AirPods 2 Pro microphone recording directly uh, from the AirPods 2 to give you an idea how it sounds and how it compares to the other two microphones. Cool. The mic test of the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro uh, recorded directly from the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Uh, you can hear how it sounds. Uh, there is some AC blowing in the background, the fan is on, 
but this is the sample from the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. The Galaxy Buds 2 Pro microphones are really solid, but they take the number three spot here. I think the lack of a stem really played a huge role in Samsung switching over. And my number one spot kind of goes to both of them. I would give it a 1A and 1B for one very distinct feature, which I'll talk about in a sec. I think the AirPods Pro really set the standard for everyone to meet up, and that's what Samsung has been trying to do over the years. And I think they've achieved it here with these buds. But the reason I gave the AirPods a B and the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro an A is simply because you can also use those buds while you're recording uh, video on your device, like your Galaxy device, and you can use that to record 360 audio as well, which is a great feature. I think it's added if you're looking to create 360 videos uh, or anything within that realm. Now, it's not necessarily something a lot of people use, but I do like that added benefit there, and it's something that's you know selectable, and it, you know you can either turn it on or off, which is great. So this is pretty huge and a great improvement, and I think that's where it lands with Z microphone. Another aspect, of course, that makes the listening experience very different for everyone is, of course, the ability of extra function in your smartphone with an app, or at least through some settings. Now, Apple doesn't have an app for the AirPods uh, 2 Pro, but in the settings or in your quick menu, you can go ahead and toggle different things, like, of course, the transparency, adaptive listening, 360 audio, that kind of stuff, which is great. Please, Apple, just add an extra section for taking out adaptive EQs. That would be nice too. Just a button right there, like a uh, turn off. Simple, great, that will work for me. But I do like the expander controls on the Galaxy, uh, Galaxy Way app for the Buds 2 Pro and the Buds 3 that give you more functionality, you know, going through custom EQs, going through turning off adaptive EQs, uh-huh, and going through all the other things you want to change within your buds, you can do that too. Now, Samsung has some other uh, vocal elements that you can use for the buds. They do have voice controls that work surprisingly well. Honestly, I was shocked because simple controls like saying pause music, plays music, stuff like that is something a lot of manufacturers just fail at and it works well. And also there is a time delay to it that for me that I do like, especially when I am uh, either pausing or playing my music, it just works well. Now, Apple also has a lot of AI features coming to the AirPods Pro, which we'll see once they launch that later on in September, but those features features like that are coming and more to the AirPods Pro. We have three buds that have some really good battery life, but the number one spot goes to all three because they all have combined 30 hours of battery life with the case and buds. That's pretty simple, which is great to see, but you know, I'm glad that they've moved from 24 hours. I wish it was longer, I do wish the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro were longer because the case looks a little bit bigger to hold at least a little more, maybe 40 hours, maybe even 50. But with the Buds themselves and the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, uh, the battery life is roughly around six hours with the Buds uh, on um, and 30 hours with the case. Uh, if you charge for three minutes, you get an hour as you expect. Um, all three support wireless charging, which is great to see. Uh, and the Galaxy Buds uh, 3 Pro and 2 Pro also have fast charging as well. So uh, I think it's pretty awesome and I like where the stand. Now you're wondering how much does it cost? So the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro coming at $249. So it's a bit higher than what we had previous generation, but matches what you get the AirPods 2 Pro at an Apple store, although you can get it at cheaper prices using my link down below. That being said, I think they're really solid and I think they're very good and I like the improvements that Samsung has done. The price is a little bit too high for me, but I think you guys have to make that choice for yourself to see if it's worth it and if you're willing to make that jump. I wanna know from you, do you like the fact that Samsung has switched to a different design with the stem or do you wanna go back to this nice pebble buds look that fit into your ears? Let me know what you think and let me know which you think is the best out of all three. Uh, leave your thoughts down below, comment, argue, talk amongst yourselves, don't yell, don't curse each other and always enjoy entertainment.